Whether you stopped five months or 50 years ago, it's never too late to pick up the guitar again. Today we'll look at 11 tips to help you restart playing. If you've seen any of my other videos, then you'll know that I, many years ago, 10, 20 years ago, I did about 30 hours of guitar, and then I stopped, put the guitar in the closet or cupboard, and it collected dust and it never saw the light of day until now really. Um, I started this channel to try and make myself accountable for learning the guitar um, at midlife, I'm 40 this year. So it's a way of um, committing to it. And I also wanted to show that it's possible for, for many people because the statistics about people quitting guitar in the first year is as high as 90% I've read. So these tips that I'm gonna give you now are 11 tips to try and help you um, restart playing guitar. Go out, get that guitar from your, your cupboard in the garage or wherever it might be, and um, let's start looking at how you can get back playing again. So the first thing I look at is revisiting equipment. This is the guitar here that I was given many, many years ago. I've still got it. Um, I moved from one country to another, pretty much to the other side of the world, actually. And uh, this came, I got this shipped over to me as part of all of my other stuff that came over. It's got a um, kind of plywood top, typical super cheap like beginner's guitar. And um, the action is pretty high on it. Um, the strings probably haven't been changed in a long time actually, I don't think, so they'd need to be changed. Um, the saddle is actually a plastic saddle and it's broken here and generally it doesn't play very well. Um, so when I looked to start playing guitar again, I bought a new one. Um, I wanted to feel inspired every day when I looked at the guitar, so what I ended up buying was this. Um, it's a kind of probably I'd say beginner to intermediate level guitar. It's a Seagull S6 original, made in Canada. Really like the guitar um, and it inspires me to, to pick up the guitar every day and start playing and learning. So if you've got any kind of doubts about um, your own equipment or you want to start playing and you don't particularly like it, then I'd urge you to, to revisit what you kind of own and maybe look for something that is more you now and inspires you to, to carry on. The second point is about learning materials. So if you haven't picked up the guitar in a long, long time, which I hadn't, things have changed drastically. Obviously you're online watching this now and there's an absolute wealth of an abundance of learning material when it comes to guitar. Not all of it's structured and if you just choose one YouTube video and then another, it's gonna be a fractured learning process. So it's something you need to understand that um, time to change, you can get that structure within courses now online and that's perfect. Um, you can manage your time to play and it also has lots of resources that are interactive that you never would have had before. If you want to know where you can get some free structured learning and different styles to suit you, I've put an article together on my website. I'll put a um, little note here for you and check that out. It's well worth it and um, you can probably find what you're looking for there. So my next one would be buddy up. Now this is something I can't do because I've got no time and I've got two children, but it's something I look to do in the future. But if you can do this, you can find a friend or someone you know who plays guitar and you play with them once a week. They don't have to be your, your, your level. They could be someone who's better than you or slightly worse than you. As long as it's someone you can share together, share the music that you learn, and maybe you can follow the same structured course, then you can sort of progress and motivate each other to carry on. What it also means is you can bounce ideas off each other and what and if one of you is absolutely owning scales and the other one's struggling with bar chords and vice versa, you, you can help each other out. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the video, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I'm doing videos every week. The fourth one would be dedicate a specific practice time. So if you can make it a particular day or time of the day um, during the week or at the weekends or whatever it may be, um, it's about getting that consistency and creating the habit. So if you can dedicate that time, then you'll know that you'll put in the time and you'll grow with it. One of my favorite quotes is from Jimi Hendrix and it's actually part of my website and it's this. Sometimes you wanna give up the guitar, you'll hate the guitar, but if you stick with it, you're gonna be rewarded. So as long as you've got a few practice sessions each week, 20, 30 minutes, all it has to be. You can keep what you're learning fresh and it obviously compounds over time. 
So my next one would be remind yourself why you're learning. There could be a whole host of reasons as to why you're learning the guitar, but keep those in the forefront of your mind every um, every day and every time you're looking to practice guitar. So whether it's not it's a um, motivating factor from maybe a guitar icon, or you you know you're just learning for the co cognition factor, or there's some people that you want to impress, whatever the reasons may be, um, it's important to keep those in, in in the front of your mind to keep you going. My next point is don't overdo it. So if you really binge on something and you do it intensely for a period of time, um, which I've done in the past with hobbies, then what tends to happen is that yeah, it kind of fizzles out after, I don't know, whatever period of time, week, two weeks, a month, uh, a couple of months. So the, the secret I find to keep going is to basically leave yourself wanting more. So get a taste of the guitar, um, play it, um, maybe you're learning a song and you feel you're getting the hang of it but you just want to keep playing, then leave it there. Next time you pick it up, you know that you had a good session and um, you'll want to keep going. My next point is learn what's relevant to you. So unless you want to be a session musician or a guitar teacher where you've got to know the instrument inside out, then only choose the things that are specific to you that you want to learn about. That's where you're interested in. That's where your passion is, so follow it. My point is you don't have to learn every scale if you're just gonna play some songs around the campfire or just to a few friends late at a party or something like that. You just wanna know some songs that you enjoy and you can play them in the moment. The key is to picture where you wanna be with your guitar skills and make a, a plan to get there. My next point would be evaluate why you stopped last time. So maybe it was uh, you had a teacher who was pushing you in a direction you didn't want to go, or maybe you didn't have any structure, or maybe just some people were teaching you a few things and you never really uh, committed to it. So whatever those reasons might may be, if you can identify those, then that's something that you can tackle this time uh, and make sure you get where you want to go. One thing you could also look at is um, some inspiration. So. I've read a book recently called Guitar Man. I've done a separate video. Um, I'll put a card up here somewhere and you can you can see a short um, introduction to that book. But it's a great book. It's about a guy who learned in midlife and I certainly found inspiring and it's partly why I set up this channel in the first place. So something like that, something that inspires you to keep going is obviously important. My next point would be keep things fresh. So if you're learning a course or a structure or whatever it is you may be, there might be intense periods where you're particularly learning a certain skill on the guitar. I don't know, it might be a finger exercise or a scale or whatever it may be. You, you've got to remember that course isn't the boss of you. While structure is important, you've also got to do things that you enjoy. So if you're not enjoying it, stop and do something you do enjoy and then revisit it later. As long as you're continuing to try and work at it, and small doses, those marginal, marginal gains will happen and will compound over time. My next point is about online communities and resources. So what you'll find is there's so many people learning guitar now and there's such an opportunity to connect with others who are in the same boat as you that you would never have on a local scale without the internet. So uh, for example, I'm part of the Justin uh, Guitar Beginner Course and they've got a forum on there and I only just reached out the other week and I'm six weeks into the course. And uh, people on there are very um, positive and they like to give advice and it's brilliant and you can get some great feedback. A lot of people post uh, excerpts of the song they've learned or the techniques that they've been doing and people are very um, positive and coming back to them because they're all in the same boat. So having some people alongside you who are going through the same thing is always a great motivator and it's also a good way to find out where you're going wrong and what you can do to improve. Okay guys, so that's about it for my tips, but one last thing, if you're wondering if you can even start learning the guitar later in life, or you're trying to restart learning and you don't know how to do it, then check this video out, I go through a lot of the detail on there, I've got more on my article on my website, I've got you covered if you want to know how to get started in later life. So hopefully that's helped you if you're thinking about restarting to play guitar. Um, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I'm, I'm releasing videos every week. Sometimes that could be a guitar journey video. I'm a beginner guitarist and I'm going through a journey and I document it all on YouTube. Or it could be a tips or uh, ideas and things that I have along the way and I share those with you. Okay, so until the next time, cheers.